Hey everyone, so I recently made a video on how to achieve 400 horsepower with the 2.7 liter Ford Bronco. And since I've made that video, I figured I'd also make one covering the 2.3 liter since it doesn't get the love it deserves. And the 2.3 liter EcoBoost is a great motor. It's often overlooked due to the 2.7 not costing a whole lot more. That said, it is the only motor offered with the seven speed manual and it gets pretty decent gas mileage, all things considered. Now, I know there are plenty of people out there that just want more power. So today we'll be looking at the top three modifications, in my opinion, needed for the 2.3 liter Bronco to make 350 horsepower and over 400 foot pounds of torque at the crank. Okay, so let's jump in with the heart of these performance gains. First up is the Ford Pro Cal Tune. This is a Ford Performance Engineered calibration designed to boost the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine to a power output of around 330 horsepower and 380 foot-pounds of torque, respectively. It also improves throttle response, optimizes shift schedules for automatic transmissions, and it adds rev matching for manuals. Now the tune comes with a Pro Cal 4 delivery tool for the installation and allows for speedometer recalibration for larger tires, axle ratio adjustments, and provides diagnostic capabilities. A premium fuel, either 91 or 93 octane, is required for optimal performance. A significant benefit is its three-year, 36,000-mile warranty when installed by an authorized Ford dealer or an ASE certified technician, which works in conjunction with the vehicle's new limited warranty. It's considered a valuable and safe upgrade for those seeking enhanced performance for their 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Next up is the CVF Performance Intercooler. This is an absolute must and critical for keeping those intake air temperatures low and your power consistent. Now there's no sense of doing all this work with the Ford Procal just for your IATs to get too high and your intercooler to get heat soaked and no horsepower gains for you. Now this intercooler features a 58% greater internal core volume and a 144% increase in the external fin surface area when compared to the OEM intercooler. It's also the most cost effective intercooler for the Ford Bronco as it comes in lifetime warranty and CV Fab does not charge any shipping or tax. Now one thing to note is that you will have to remove your factory grill shutters at the front, uh, but the installation of the intercooler is very easy. I actually have a step-by-step -step installation video on my channel, which I can put in the video's description. Now on to the third and final performance modification, and that's the CVF Pro Performance Intake. It outflows the factory intake by around 29% thanks to its wide open XLPE housing and five layer dry filter. Now, there's plenty of intake offerings for the 2.3 liter Bronco, but you'll be hard pressed to find one at this price to performance ratio. And this intake is an easy bolt on, so really not any modifications needed. And again, this being CV Fab, it also has a lifetime warranty and again, no charge for shipping and tax. So to recap, with the Ford Performance Pro Cal, the CVF intercooler and the Pro Performance intake installed, your 2.3 liter Bronco will be pushing around 350 horsepower and around 400 foot pounds of torque at the crank. Now the cost of doing these mods will vary, but I estimate the cost being anywhere between $1,500 and $1,600, depending on the sales and if you install everything yourself. Now I believe the ProCal periodically goes on sale for around $600 and the intercooler and intake together will run you under $1,000. You can save even more money if you use my code full speed at CVF's checkout on their website. Now with these modifications, you can expect zero to 60 times to be somewhere in the low to mid six second range and a quarter mile time somewhere in the 14 second range if you're using 93 or 91 octane. Also, if you have access to E85, you can use an ethanol calculator to mix up some E30, and that will give you anywhere between an extra 10 to 20 horsepower as the Bronco's ECU will automatically adjust for E30. Now, if you want even more performance, then you can look into things like downpipes, catback exhausts, portal throttle bodies, intake manifold spacers. Uh, I'll have a lot of that linked in the video's description if you're interested. In fact, uh, a buddy of mine who has a full bolt-on 2.3 liter Bronco with the Ford Procal, I'll go ahead and show it on screen, but his Bronco gets moving pretty quickly. I'll go ahead and share a full list of his performance modifications if anybody's interested in potentially copying his build. Now, unfortunately, the 2.3 liter Bronco's ECUs have not been cracked yet as of June 2025, so they cannot be custom tuned. There is a lot of potential with a 2.3 liter, but tuning is not yet available, so I'll be anxiously awaiting custom tuning just like some of you. Okay, folks, so that's it. That's how you build a 350 horsepower 2.3 liter Bronco. I plan on covering the Bronco Raptor in the next video, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for checking out the video.